Hi all, welcome to the channel Cloud Knowledge. Today in this video, we will study like how we can extract the files from a zipped folder or a file. Okay, so here we have storage account which has a folder called zip input. So we'll in enter inside this folder. And here inside the folder, we have two files with the .gz extension one.csv.gz and the other file name is file.gz okay so this is a zip file when we try to view this file by opening it and clicking on edit we could not see the content of this file okay so our requirement is to unzip this file okay i mean whatever files are present inside this zip file we want to preview it so how the desired output should look like let's go back to the container okay so if we go to the same container we have a different folder name as zip output if we click here we can see there are two folders here in the zip input there were two files which were zipped and now we have two folders which with the same name and inside these folders we have the we have the files okay so it is having three csv files and upon opening them we can see the content of that csv file so this is the first file and in the second folder we have another like uh, set of files like two csvs are there and the content is visible to us now we'll go back to the output folder now we'll go back to the output folder and we'll try to delete these two extracted unzipped files because we want to freshly create this output here at the same location so in order to create this we'll go back to the Azure data factory and in the data factory we'll create the pipeline so we'll create a new pipeline we'll name the pipeline as zip pipeline zip now since this storage location inside this container we have more than one file so in order to traverse through these files, we'll use this get metadata activity, which is present inside the general tab of the activity section in the ADF. So we'll take the get metadata activity and in the get metadata activity settings, we'll go to the settings tab and we'll try to connect to this storage location data set okay pointing to the zip input folder so we'll click on new we'll click on the data lake storage gen2 account so we have uh, the file as zip file so the file format uh, to be selected should be binary we'll name it as binary zip input link service for that storage location is already there so we'll select it now file path we will browse to the zip input location uh, zip input we have these two files which needs to be unzipped click ok click ok so now we have uh, the data set here in the get metadata activity now we'll try to open this data set okay in the data set the input folder has multiple files so what we'll do is we'll create a parameter called file name and then in the file path we'll create a dynamic content to mention that file name pipeline parameter so upon clicking this parameter it will be taken as the dataset dot file name click ok so this file path will search for all the files which are present at this input zip input folder location and then uh, comes another setting which is compression type so the compression type in this case for unzipping should be selected as zip deflate okay so we'll select it as zip deflate compression level we have two so in this case we are selecting optimal okay so the settings for the input data set file is done here now we'll go back to the pipeline okay and here 
this file name since the parameter we have defined at the uh, input data set level will appear here and we'll mention the file name to be uh, all the files which are ending with the gz extension let's say at the same location zip, uh, zip input there are other files too with different extensions so how we need to extract those files which are uh, so uh, which are to be uh, unzipped so for that purpose we'll mention all the files uh, to denote all the files we'll use star with dot gz extension so it should, should be dot g z okay so file name should be star dot gz okay this is done then comes the file list here we'll define the argument so for the get metadata data um, activity we need all the child items so that i all the items which are present at this location will be considered and then uh, the settings for this get metadata activity is done now we need to traverse through all these files and perform an action okay so we have got uh, the input data set now in order to traverse it or iterate we need the for each activity so it is present inside the iteration and conditionals as for each so we'll take it here on the screen and we'll try to connect the get metadata activity to the for each activity now in the for each activity if we click we have the settings tab here and here in the items configuration we have to uh, set the property this property should be parameterized so how it should be parameterized we click on the add dynamic content and in the get metadata activity we have defined the field list argument as child items so here it uh, uh, will select the child items so from the get metadata activity select the child items means list of subfolders and files in the given folder so we'll click here and it will display the content as output dot child items so we'll click ok so this is done now in the for each activity what we have to perform we will add so we are actually taking all the files zip files and uh, copying it uh, unzipping it into a different folder so inside the for each activity what we are going to do we are going to copy that zip file unzip it in, and land it into another folder called zip output so for that movement we use the copy data activity in the copy data activity we'll go to the source settings and since the source is the same that is this data set uh, which we were pointing to the zip input folder we will select from the drop down binary zip input okay same configuration which we had set in the get metadata data activity this we have set now in the data set properties it will have a name and value okay so the file name which we have defined uh, previously so how it should be here it should be a dynamic content so it will be from coming from the for each current item okay so that item and the name of the file so it should be item dot name okay to take or fetch all the files present at that location now this is done recursive we don't want because we have single level of uh, folder so we can uh, uncheck it and then we can go to the sync settings okay so we'll go to the sync settings and now we'll create a uh, sync data set for the zip output location so this is the same gen2 storage account binary output binary zip output we can name the data set and the link service is storage gen2 file part should be zip output okay click ok again click ok we'll select the copy behavior okay since since we want uh, the output file to be of the same name as the zip file name so what we do is here in the setting we will select preserve hierarchy okay so it will create the name of the folders with the zip file name and then inside those folders we'll get the uh, files okay the unzipped csv files so for this purpose we have selected the copy behavior as preserve hierarchy now we'll open the data set here we do not have to do any changes we have simply selected the output file path folder name and rest of the settings we we have done at the input data set level and the output data set level at the copy data activity level and at the pipeline level so let's see what we have done 
we have used the get metadata activity to get the field list as child items then we have given the file name created a parameter and then given like all the dot gz extension file names should be selected and then we have taken a for each activity to iterate through the files because we have or we can have more than one files at that location okay and then inside the for each activity we want uh, to what we want to do for each of the files we want to copy it so we have this copy data activity with the source and the sync settings okay so we are getting the file name from the for each activity one by one we are iterating and performing the action of copying and then in the sync we have set the copy behavior as preserve hierarchy and landed the file into the uh, output uh, location which is zip output so now we will validate our pipeline so it's validated now we'll publish the changes so once the uh, changes are published we can go to the pipeline and perform a debug run so let's click on the debug so here we can see that our pipeline is in progress let's wait the, for the pipeline to complete So here we can see that all our activities are successfully completed. So now we'll go to the zip output container where we have configured our output files to land. So here we will refresh. And upon refreshing, we could see that two folders are generated with the same name as the zip files. And inside these folders, we can see the content of the files. Okay. So here we have three files, CSV files, and one we try to open these files we can view the content of these files similarly we have another uh, folder with file.gz here also we have two files we can view the content of these files so we have accomplished the task of unzipping these two files using the activities of the your data factory so one important thing to note is that in the settings uh, for the input data set if we go here we have selected the compression type at as zip deflate then only this uh, overall pipeline is running successfully if we select it as let's say dot gz gzip okay because we might uh, think that uh, the since the files the zip files are having dot gz extension it should work fine so it will not okay i will uh, change it and i'll show you uh, with a debug run So when we select this .zz, the file uh, or th this this pipeline will fail. Even though the zip files are having .zz extension, we should not select the compression type as .zz. If we select the .zz compression type here, our pipeline will fail. So here, see, this is failing. And if we go to the error message here, it says user configuration issue okay invalid data format cannot decompress the source file source file so for this purpose even though our files are ending with dot gz extension we have to select the compression type as zip deflate then it will successfully run so this is a small demo for the illustration of the extraction of the files from a zip uh, file okay so here we had this zip, file, zip files and we we extracted it in the form of folder and then uh, the files which are present inside it so thank you for watching the video happy learning bye